Welcome back to Squawk. We've got some breaking news right now. DraftKings shares, they are plunging right now. Hindenburg Research just out with a new short call on the stock. It's based on the three-way SPAC that brought DraftKings to the public market. Hindenburg alleging that the merger with Bulgaria's SB Tech brought exposure to extensive dealings in black market gaming, money laundering, and organized crime. Now, CBC has reached out to DraftKings for comment, but uh, we're going to get straight down to the New York Stock Exchange. Jim Kramer joins us now, and I'm very curious, Jim, to hear what you think about uh, this report. It's another SPAC. Uh, we should mention Hindenburg Research uh, also called out Nikola, which was a SPAC, uh, and happened to be right about that. Uh, we have, I have no information on, uh, on, on exactly what they're alleging in this instance, but... Um, What's your quick takeaway? Yeah, I, I got to go innocent until proven guilty because I haven't spoken to Nate, uh, Nate Weiss at Hindenburg. Uh, his work on uh, uh, Lordstown was, was brilliant. Uh, uh, Nikola was brilliant. There was a little pot stock. I'm not going to really say that he was wrong on it, but he just misjudged the market on it. It's called Grow Generation, and that was more of a valuation call. But uh, I got to do work in this because I think that the guys who run DraftKings, I, I have a program with them. I've always felt that they were good. But I, uh, Nate is a, a very thorough guy, and uh, he also got hurt on Clover. Uh, he was right on Clover in the facts, I believe, but then the meme guys went nuts on it. So I, I really want to go with an innocent until proven guilty because the guys I work with at DraftKings are great. You may say I'm biased because I have a program. So, uh, But I, I have to disclose that, Andrew. But it, it, this is – Hindenburg is uh, – Right now, they're three for five, and, uh, and they were really four for five until the meme guys went nuts on Clover. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.